Hello, welcome back to BS Live. In this episode, I want to take you through a bit of tour into the some of the feature of Blender features, um, especially the the function, the function branch, and also the the sculpt branch. So, I'm showing to you um, some kind of particles simulations that's already baked, and on top of that. I have this remesh, Foxel remesh, that's kind of doing the remeshing of the particles in real time. Um, so yeah, let's uh, let's have a look how I actually made this. So it's gonna be a lot of. If you might notice, I have the I have the uh, the default official Blender 2.80. Uh, that's I'm that I'm using that for rendering. And I'm also I also have the old Blender 2.79, and then I have this Blender Function Branch and Sculpt Branch. So Function Branch is something that I'm interested in. But before I go there, I want to show you uh, where you can download this. So there's this guy, Wooter. He's uh, he actually made uh, some of macOS build. For Blender, so this is not official. So you you have that like a um, sculpt branch of Blender, and there's also the function branch. And really, I want to show you a bit of function branch because this is where you can have like a, the new Blender particles that using uh, that's using nodes. So let's uh, let's jump into that one very very quickly. In a bit, you can see um, kind of like a preview for Blender Future Particles, which is made of nodes, so 2.81 alpha. Um, this is not final, by the way, and it's it's probably going to change again in the future, but I'm going to show it to you anyway. So I'll give it a name, Demo Particle Future. Okay, save. So the way it works, I believe you you create something like a cube and then you jump into the modifier and you you might see something interesting like function points and function deform. That's uh, it's gonna be in the future tutorial. We have blender particles and blender particles output. Let's use this blender particles. The cube disappears. Let's create particle three simulations. And let's see, try and run it. So suddenly you have this. So what is this exactly? If you go under B particles, this is the new particles. Um, you can see there's a particle system. And there's a turbulent force node and there's also initial grid emitter. So that's very interesting. Right, you can you can make some changes here, like uh, maybe spread them apart, or maybe make the step smaller. Size 0.5. That's probably the size of the particles. And there's this turbulence that you can uh, play around with the strings. And then if you look at the nodes, there are all kind of um, new nodes for this particle system including things like uh, trails uh, i don't know how to use these trails yet but this might change again in the future so i'm not gonna touch that let's save this for now for the initial emitter you have mesh emitter you have initial grid emitter so which one do you want you also have point emitter so if i use point emitters and plug into this guy let's see what we got so we have point emitters and also we have this grid. They both are emitting. If you want to cut the grid, um, you hold Control and right mouse button and cut. Okay. The cut tool is actually over here, the second one, uh, the third one. But I'm usually using the Control and right mouse button. Okay. So turbulence force and what other other force we have? This is. Still, um, there's drag, gravity, mesh force. That's interesting. Let's see if I plug in the gravity. What's gonna happen? 
okay it drops down very cool so this is like like a quick preview of blender the future of blender particles still work in progress but still it's already quite interesting um, let's cut the point emitter oops control right mouse cut let's use the grid for now and let's let's um let's get rid of the graffiti delete so we have 400 points particle what's interesting is uh, i'm gonna try to to bake this very very quickly so with this guy being selected i'm gonna go file export alembic oh before i do that i'm gonna do this just in case so i'm giving it a displacement modifier and then zero it out and then file export alembic so i'm gonna save it as demo particle futures export alembic file new general let's test it out import alembic um, you see the interface is also different for this so then the particles okay this guy import so we have the particles bake into points so that's interesting and i'm definitely going to use that um let's see so now we're gonna go using blender 2.79 so i'm that um crazy in, in oh actually i need to open it somehow there's a bug there so we need to go to older blender and just load the app 2.2.79 because i want to bake it as something else I, I want to show it to you i'm i'm going to use sphere chalk add-on for this um so this so that's our particle right you can see there's a dots file save this as this okay so it's already a different different version of blender and i will jump into sphere chalk nose i'm using sphere chalk for this because it's a uh, because Spreadshock have a bunch of objects generator. So Dmesh output. I'm gonna load our particles. This is an objects with points only. I'm gonna turn off post modifier. The post modifier doesn't work on Blender 2.80 yet. That's why I'm using 2.79. So this is gonna be the points and I will be using maybe box. I can use box or others. So these are our objects. How many objects? We have 400. We don't want that. We just want to merge it. This is the reason why I'm using Spreadshop. Spreadshop is really fast for this kind of instancing. And it, it merged the, the mesh. So that's, that's pretty cool. And if you want to randomize the rotations, you can do that. For now, let's just um, maybe just use a matrix normal just to randomize it slightly. All right, so a little bit more variations there. And now, this guy, right click to select. Okay, this guy I will bake as well. Assign a displacement and then remove it. Okay file export alembic this is the second bake export alembic it's gonna calculate for every frames and done okay cool now we're gonna jump in the sculpting branch another modifier that m at some point, 2.81, uh, 2 when it becomes official, we're going to see all this branch become a single branch. So that's what's cool about Blender. Uh, maybe if you are new to Blender, you don't, you don't know. Maybe it's, you're not familiar with all this. But I'm going to show it to you anyway. This is all like kind of like a preview. If you want to ever to compile 
all this blender yourself you can there's a tu tutorial by Jay Anam and you can compile actually compile blender compile sculpt branch or something there's a video uh, where he is explaining how to how to compile the sculpt branch yourself thanks Jay Anam but here you go this is our objects and it's it's big and the performance is good it's alembic and you can go here modifier you can go under remesh and under remesh you will see some interesting options voxel and quad actually voxel the one we need so now you can see our particle simulations starting to look like something like fluid yeah because it is actually a bit more more or less like a fluid um, maybe you remember metaballs uh, you can do something similar with metaballs but for now it's a yeah this is a voxel it's almost like a fluid and then you can even use something like displace and then kind of redu uh, go in the negative value and then you have this cool looking fluids and it's it's almost like a dynamics in itself and that's the particles um, yeah so this is really what I want to show you a uh, file save as I'm gonna save it to another blend and maybe I'll I can give you all this blend so this is what is this let's uh, so, so I enable um, the sort by date I believe yep I did so interesting well anyway I'm gonna I'm gonna save it as another blend cool and since this guy is uh, also a mesh I can smooth it and maybe I'm gonna bake it as well so displays reduce the, uh, the strings to zero this one make it a bit fat because I want to see this using blender 2.80 the official file export alembic selected object only modifier on yep uh, export alembic so I think it's done so if I open the official blender 2.80 with with render like ev cycles we should be seeing our final mesh file import alembic from the desktop Oop, it says cannot open okay that's uh that's interesting that's interesting though probably I'm hitting a bug or actually it's still rendering huh. interesting what am I doing uh, so let's wait until this hits 100% so apparently this takes a bit longer and the file size is gonna grow because we are using the remesh and then this okay cool file new this is again this is blender 2.80 the one that you might have from the official uh, blender foundation and uh, let's go just stop 128 megabyte okay this is our final bake version cool maybe at this stage we can just control two to smooth it okay this become pretty happy control one okay let's uh, turn on cavity turn on some nice give it some nice matte cap or even like a subsurface scattering okay this guy is pretty heavy so I'm gonna get rid of the sub perhaps we can just smooth it a couple of times so nice looking pretty cool pretty cool right so thanks to the particle the function branch which I only touch I'm only scratching what it can do really 
um, this kind of particle simulations, if it's, if it's this, this simple, you can really just use the old particles and kind of bake the points. But so I'm kind of went through a lot of things, but uh, the function, particle function branch is really something that I'm looking forward to. It's gonna be, it's gonna be a little bit more complex um, with particles and nodes and what you can do with it. However, it's a, uh, it's amazing. So you, if you you wanna see some preview, go under Blender Dev YouTube, and you can find some some example of Blender particles function branch. So this one particle particle nodes example. There's also the older particles demo this one particle trails demo you can you can try um, and make uh, trails yourself but you can see here this is the blender particles and the one that I, that I show you already and this is single points being uh, kind of pulled by the gravity but you can also use um, there's a mesh emitter and then you can use trails. I haven't tried trails. I don't have trails that actually working for now. That's the trails. So yeah, but uh, keep eyes on these functions and also the scalp branch because they're, they too are really cool. And you can, if you're impatient like me, you can have cool things like this uh, today. Well, look at this. I don't actually need to bake it at the end but uh, we, we, because we already have it here this is the this is the scalp branch and this guy already have the renderer and this is actually a lot faster than 2.80 2.81 is a lot faster than 2.80 so that's a uh, something to look forward to um, and if I'm not wrong you can also do a bit of sculpting on top of this so a lot of things um, definitely interesting so yeah um that's a quick look at a lot of different version of blenders and how you can really play around with blender particle functions but though uh like i said this is not for production it's only for experimental but you can start play around with it and learn the process of using blender particle nodes um so yeah thanks to jack looks and all other developers to make this happening um yeah something to look forward to but yeah anyway thanks again for tuning in and i'll see you next time thank you bye